Before aircraft development had advanced enough to enable them to fly long haul, there were two ways for the public to travel long distances, to reach faraway countries. The first was the ocean liner. Ships were the main form of intercontinental transport until the 1950s. The second was the airship. Although almost forgotten, the airship concept enjoyed some success before its demise in 1937. Britain's RMS Titanic is of course one of the world's most famous liners, because of her tragic sinking in 1912. The German Hindenburg airship is remembered for her crash in 1937, which effectively ended the concept of intercontinental passenger airships. Airships were able to travel very long distances, like ocean liners, but had the advantage of speed. Titanic's maximum speed was about 26 miles per hour. Hindenburg was up to three times as fast, at 84 miles per hour. Although airships were short-lived, there was even an airship which was a flying aircraft carrier. USS Akron was a helium-filled rigid airship of the U.S. Navy, which operated between September 1931 and April 1933. She had a range of 6,840 miles, which no conventional aeroplane could match in that era. She was the world's first purpose-built flying aircraft carrier. Akron carried up to five Sparrow Hawk fighter planes, which could be launched and recovered while she was in flight. The primary role of Akron's airplanes was long-range naval scouting. The heart of the ship was the airplane hangar and trapeze system. The trapeze was lowered through a door in the bottom of the ship and into the slipstream, with an airplane attached to the crossbar by the skyhook, its pilot on board and its engine running. The pilot tripped the hook and the airplane fell away from the ship. On his return, he positioned himself beneath the trapeze and climbed up until he could fly his skyhook onto the crossbar, at which point it automatically latched shut. Once inside, the airplane was transferred from the trapeze to a trolley running on an overhead monorail system by which it could be shunted into one of the four corners of the hangar to be refueled and rearmed. Although the biggest flying machines ever built, the many airship crashes proved that they were unreliable. 